What's up everyone, it's the Wise Bubbler here and today I'm going to show you how to build a uploading app like Product Hunt slash a suggested app for my YouTube channel using Xano and Bubble. So you can see here it's kind of like an uploading app. You can click that, upload, and then downvote and you can add suggestions here. Suggestion and test and you can click publish. There you go in and there you go. Cool. Let's jump in to Xano. This is my first Xano video, so hopefully you can find this useful. All right, so I'm in Xano, and if you go to my dashboard, you can see kind of some basic stats, but I'm going to jump straight to the database, and I created this table. I just click Add Table, so Post for YouTube. And you can ignore the rest of the database. I'm just going to focus on one table for simplicity, um, and I'm going to add a title and a description for the post description. And then I will add number of upvotes. And this is not how I would structure a normal app, but I am just doing this for the video's sake. I'm gonna change this at a capital. Um, so this is not the best way to structure an app like this. I'm just doing it for the example. So this is the database, very similar to Bubble. You kind of just choose the type you want, and then you choose the title name. Um, so let's jump into what would be the equivalent of the workflow tab, which is the API tab. And here I created this. I use this to create an API group, and you can ignore everything else except for posts for YouTube. And let's create the endpoints we need for this app. So let's add an API endpoint, or do CRUD because we're creating, reading, update, or deleting and I'm gonna do post for YouTube. And I am going to post, yeah, I'm going to post. So this is to create a post. Now let's do create a post. Cool, all right, so you can see that it pre-adds a bunch of different stuff here. Um, I may actually delete this and start it from scratch. Actually, this is fine. This is a post to create a parameter. So we can see that the inputs are what Bubble is sending. So if we click on this plus icon, we can choose whether we want a database link. In this case, that's what we basically chose. If we click database link, post for YouTube. Oh, it duplicated it, but one second. If we click here, we can remove database link. And then if we click the plus icon, add database link and post for YouTube. It'll match all the fields that we have on the posts table. And that'll be what we're sending from Bubble. We're sending a title, description, and number of upvotes we won't necessarily send, but oh, we'll send one to just add one to start. The next thing we're doing is adding a record. So if we delete this and how we would do it from scratch is we would click add and we would do database request and we would go down to add record and we would add to post for YouTube. And then here we would put the input would be title. So when it says input, it means like all the inputs here. So we have title and then description would be the description that we're inputting here and the upvotes will be upvotes. Cool. Actually, we will want this and then we can click save. And the difference here um, in Bubble in Xano is that everything comes out as a variable. So when we create that post, it comes out in a variable called post for YouTube, and then we can manipulate that. We don't really need to in our case, but we'll just call this post created. Perfect. And down here, we can see um, what we'd like to return. So in Bubble's case, like result of step one's API call, and we wanna return the post created. We don't wanna return anything else. Cool. All right, awesome. This is successful. Let's jump into our second request. This will be upvoting. So let's choose here, create, and we want to just create from scratch. Start from scratch, yeah. Um, upvote post. Cool, okay. So what we'll be sending here is a post ID. So we're gonna choose a table reference because we want to send the post that we want to update, like add a upvote or reduce of upvote. So 
going to be a table reference. We're going to do posts YouTube. And it's going to see an integer of the post ID. So in bubble in Xano, you can see here that we have an ID and it literally goes one, two, three. Like if we add a record, it's just going to go two, three. That's why it's an integer. If we go back to where we were, um, we can see upvote. And the next thing we'll add is actually how much we want to increment the upvotes by. Just because of how simple this is, we'll say increment upvotes. And this will be an integer. It'll either be plus one or minus one. <laughs> Perfect. Um, the next thing we want to do is actually, so first what we're going to do is we're going to get the record because we're only sending the ID. So then we need to get from the database the actual post we want to update. So if we click add, we're going to database request and we're going to get a record and we're going to get a post from YouTube. And the ID, we're going to filter by the ID. So let's think about like search for post for YouTube where ID equals the input ID we sent. So it's integer post for YouTube ID. And then we can click save. And then we can see that the output here, we're saving that in a variable. So everything you do in Xano gets saved in a variable. So we're getting the record post from YouTube and we're saving it in a variable. And then using the referencing that variable, we can reference what we have here. Think about it as like result of step one is basically the variable. But instead of doing result of step one, you just choose the variable. Um, but let's change the name to post from database. Perfect. All right, let's click save there. And then let's change this post. So we're going to do a database request and we are going to edit record. We're going to edit a post from YouTube. Perfect. And then we are going to choose the ID it will be the same as the ID here. Um, and we're not changing anything except for the upvotes. So you don't need to show any of these unless you want to change them. And the upvotes will be over here. It's not, it's going to be a variable, right? The variable we created here, the record we got of the post from YouTube. And then the in order to get like the upvotes of that, we do dot upvotes. It just has to be spelled exactly that way. So that's like that post, this post, upvotes. Um, but we don't just want the upvotes, we then want to add the increment that we got here. So you kind of hover over it and we can add a filter. You can choose the filter type, and there's a lot here, but I'm gonna choose math, and I'm gonna add two numbers, and the, I'm gonna increment it by the input increment upvotes. What we sent is going to be plus one or minus one, and then we can update that. Perfect. Now we see the post from database upvotes add increment from upvotes. Okay, let's save this. Awesome. And then the result here that we're going to get um, is post from YouTube one. Let's say, let's change the variable name to post updated. Cool. That's saved. And now the variable we want to return to bubble is going to be actually that post updated, that updated post from here. All right, so now we can update a post. Um, we can create a post. Let's see what else we need. Oh, yes, the last thing we need is actually to get all the posts. So we need to display all the posts in the app, right? We need to display them here. And that's an API call that we do a get from Xano basically saying, give me all the posts and then we're going to order them by upvotes. Cool. Let's do that. Let's create a new endpoint. Let's just start from scratch and we're going to say get all posts. Perfect. And the input we are going to use is we don't actually need an input. We're just getting all the posts. So we're not, we don't need to send anything from bubble. And we're going to do a database request and we're going to query all records and we're going to query posts from YouTube. Perfect. And the output is going to be like this. And so we're just querying all the posts. So it's just search for posts, but we need to add sorting. And the way you add sorting is you click on this button here and then you click add sort and I'm going to sort by upvotes and I'm going to do ascending, no, descending from highest to lowest. And then I can click save. Now you can see that it's 
sorting by descending and then I will change the variable. So I think it's doing a search for, saving it in a variable and then sending it in the response. So the variable I'm gonna call this is alt posts. Click save. And here, let's change the variable name here to alt posts. Click save. And perfect, we are all set. So this is part one of creating this upvoting app. It's a very simple app. Um, in the next video, I will show you how to connect it to Bubble. And then in the last video, I will show you how to add the upvoting highlighting feature that we have here. So thanks for watching. Watch for part two to learn the next steps of building this app.